And now it's time for the KSNT Sports Full Court Press with Pete Francis and Sully Engels. Welcome to Full Court Press, Pete Francis, Sully Engels. It's the final Full Court Press of the year. It stings a little bit. Of course, we'll be back next year, but I think, you know, as this one ends, we get 2020 past, but we got a little more highlights to get to before we wrap this it's thing up. It's gone by so fast, Sully. So quickly, but also not fast enough. I'd All right, say. we'll begin at Washburn Row. For this Centennial League showdown, Joe Barry and the Junior Blues taking on Seaman. Vikings strong out of the gate. Ty Henry, that's pure from distance. How about Caden Bonner with the triple? Coming off that overtime yeah. game winner on Tuesday. I have a feeling we'll be saying his name a lot this year. They got shooters. Please. Another one right there. Vikings start the game on a 13-0 run. Junior Blues not going away without a fight. Jack Batchelor, count it, and one. Strong. Washburn Rural going outside. Quincy Kidd, that's a nice looking shot right looking there. Looking like a man. Then it's Joe Barry doing Joe Barry things. Count it and the foul. 15 points for him. This one goes to overtime, and Rural takes it 62-57. to Jack Hutchinson leads the way with 24 points. The girls' game, not as competitive tonight. I showed up right at the end. Washburn Rural has its way with the Lady Vikes. They take it 51-17. to How about those top-ranked T-High girls visiting Highland Park? Lady Scott's trying to keep it closer. Early, Angelique Gowan Britt going places and won. But needed more of those because these Lady Trojans, they just play ball and they do it well. The ball moving there ends up in Lily Smith's hands. She's knocked down. Tate Thomas leading the break later to Smith, dropping it down low to Jemiah Lyons. Finished with the left hand. The fundamentals are on point. More running and gunning. Kiki Smith, left-handed dimer down the court to Janisha Hendricks. So many options. There. They just, everyone can score on this team. The Hendricks returns the favor. Kiki Smith with the finish. Lady Trojans win this one 85-27 dominating fashion to the boys game. Highland Park looking to get back on track after that tough loss to Seaman and Pete double overtime one. Starting it right though, CJ Powell with the board, finds one Terrio Roberts, the bucket, pump fake, and the nice. finish. Foul on top of that as well. Next position, Powell with the board. He's a force down there, but gentle with the finish. Strong, but doing his thing. Later, more Roberts, spot up, knock down. Scott's up early, rolling, but T-High, they got a little fight in them. They're Trojans, that's what Trojans do. Jaden Leesman drives in the lane, finishes there. Trojans running. Jalen Smith to Antonio Walker. Bucket from the corner, timeout, Scott's. But those Scott's, they talked about at the break, and they said, we got a guy who's special tonight. Ontario Roberts again, can't leave him like that. Finishes with 28. Park wins at 66-53. to Maybe the game of the night here to Hayden. A great one against Junction City. Fourth quarter, Terrence Tedder, double T for three. Hayden with a response. Giovanni Williams on the follow, grabs the board, puts it right back up for the finish. It's a tie ball game. Last chance for JC. Seconds remaining in regulation. That's not the play they drew up. Goes out of bounds, so Hayden gets a shot. Williams from about half court, not going to go. Free basketball, Pete. More Love from it. Tedder. The junior lines this one from nearly the same spot. Splash, then on defense. The steal from Tedder. He tries to get a little crazy here. I think he's trying to throw that thing down. Not going to go, but his guy Javon George is there to clean it up. Blue Jays up five. Finishing touches put on by Howard Johnson. This kid can play. He had 20 points. JC wins it in overtime. A good one, 71 to 65. Yeah, that's a nice win for Junction City. Really Sully, is. what impressed you the most tonight? All those games were good. I think JC's been playing really well. They have a lot of options. Obviously, the T-High girls always impressive. Some of the highlights we didn't get to show. We had Dawson Zanger tonight. 38, 38 points. points. Yeah. You know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about right there. That's buckets, man. Yeah, he's a Not baller. Also, Wusick had another great night. We've got a lot of great stores. Charles Snyder, double-double for him. So much in our area, and next year we'll get to as many games as possible to highlight all these fantastic dudes out there. Yeah, I was really impressed with that comeback mm -hmm. by Washburn Rural against Seaman tonight. Yeah. I mean, Seaman was dominating when I was there, and then I leave, and then Washburn Rural just. I mean, we got a D1 talent on your team. Takes you got off. guys that can score like that's going to happen. And also, so many great ladies there as well, too. I know, tougher one for the Washburn Rural ladies, ladies yeah. team. Wow. Junior Blues. Dominating Blues, win over Seaman. They're tonight. doing their thing.